Alright, welcome back my fellow aficionados. So we're going to do uh, just an update, uh, as requested, on the Aristocrat uh, 25D. There you go. Um, nothing to complain about. Uh, I mean, th this thing, it it's absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to try. I'm sorry if there's going to be shadows, but um, try to do the best I can. And, um, I guess we'll start with the pull out. Okay, these are, um, come on, focus. Okay, these are all the Dominican and Nicaraguan. Um, but what I did uh, is moved most of them down here. So we'll look at the first shelf. And as I'm shooting, I mean, the temperature is going uh, up. And this is another one, another question. Uh, and I've been uh, talking with Manuel. And Manuel has been having an issue. Uh, uh, not, not an issue, but he thought it was an issue with the temperature um, in his humidor going down. So he thought it was getting too cold that he should you know, keep them warm. Um, and that's actually, as we were talking, I was like, no, actually, that's a good thing. Um, if you can have the temperatures lower, as I was telling them, like Nimron Knee keeps them at 12 and a half degrees Celsius. Uh, some of these other big collectors and manufacturers do keep it at a lower temperature. And actually, that's the reason why I didn't get um, a temperature controlled humidor is that I would keep it at 13 degrees Celsius, but the problem is the outside environment, I can't get below 20. And I didn't want to have that condensation happening as I'm having with my uh, wine fridge, uh, because I do keep that um, uh, down around 13, 14 degrees. So, um, you know, does it slow down the maturation process? Uh, yeah, maybe a little, you know, the tannins won't, you know, take a little longer to break down, but um, I, I normally keep these are at about 19, 20 degrees Celsius, um, 18 in, in, in the winter. Like I do try to get the basement as low as possible without, um, my wife killing me, but you know, for, for what it is, uh, anyway, Manuel, you're doing good. So I wouldn't worry about that. Just focus on the, uh, humidity, uh, but you're good. So, we'll pull this guy out, and uh, I'll see, maybe I can even, now this is one that we're going to open up next year, the St. Louis Ray, um, hasn't even been opened, alright, and it'll be 10 years next year, so we'll save that, but uh, <clears throat> some of the boxes that you've already seen, uh, well, with the exception of that uh, Monolonis uh, Limitada, uh, that is, no, you saw that one, sorry, it's the regional, uh, the Can uh, Canada regional one that you didn't see. And here are some of the singles and the way that I stack them. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is another one, uh, the Canada release, we'll, we'll get a look at that later on. Uh, yeah, so there you go, what I was talking about, um, that one there was actually number 9 in 2015, and the box code matches that of the... Uh, the one that was reviewed by Cigar Aficionado. Um, this guy, it, it has taken humidity in. It, it's definitely more pliable, but uh, we're going to let that we're going to let that rest. 
Um, again, I'm not expecting much, but we'll see. We'll have fun with it. Um, these guys, I'm trying to hold those especials or hide them, but um, yeah, I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> And then the bottom. And again, with the two reservoirs. And my padrones, my father, uh, Tatuaje, and some more uh, Cubans. So, yeah. And again, the signature from Bob Stabell. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, that's, uh, that's a little update on uh, more of the supply than the actual humidor. The, the humidor, it, it's just, it's bulletproof. Absolutely bulletproof. Uh, this is where I'll put um, my uh, supplies, so uh, my little daughter can't get her hands on anything. Um, yeah. But yeah, there you have it. It's a thing of beauty. I, I absolutely love this humor. Unreal. All right, folks. So again, hit like, subscribe, share. Uh, keep the comments coming. Keep the discussions coming. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Cheers.